listening task 23 you are going to hear a part of a radio talk on the indo tibetan border police the itbp as you listen identify which of the five statements 1 2 8 are true by ticking them The ITBP is a premier paramilitary organization raised to secure the Indo-Tibetan border that stretches across 2115 kilometers. As it began to get more responsibilities, it underwent changes that began in 1978. In 1992, Parliament enacted the Indo-Tibetan Border Police Force Act 1992, which came into effect in 1994. With its battalions present from the Karakoram Pass in Ladakh to Jechopla in Arunachal Pradesh, it watches over 3488 kilometers of the India-China border. This it does from outposts at altitudes ranging from 9000 feet to 18600 feet across the extreme and difficult mountain terrain in the western, middle and eastern sectors. Getting to its men by road is difficult. so supply and replenishment is done by air dropping and helicopter sorties military experts consider the itbp to be one of the best mountain forces in the world its personnel have to be familiar with winter survival techniques and working in adverse freezing and unpredictable high altitude weather its officers and men professionally trained mountaineers and skiers are able to face high velocity storms blizzards avalanches and landslides some of its other activities include preventing transborder crime smuggling and other illegal activities it is also the nodal agency for disaster management in the himalayas and there is more the itbp's national center for un civpol training or the international civilian police imparts training to personnel from all police organizations for un peacekeeping missions ITBP officers have represented India in strife-torn countries like Angola, Bosnia, Cambodia, Congo, Haiti, Herzegovina, Kosovo, Mozambique, Sierra Leone, Sudan, and Western Sahara. It continues to be a part of the UN peacekeeping mission in Congo. Its current mission is in ensuring the security of Indian missions in different parts of Afghanistan. If you go on the Kailash Mansarovar Yatra you will find the ITBP is there as a guardian a role it has donned since 1981 ITBP personnel are fondly known as himvirs or protectors of the mountains and friends of the people The ITBP has played an important role in fighting infiltration it has seen deployment in parts of Jammu and Kashmir In 1965 for example the force saw action against Pakistani intruders in the 1971 war it was on special duty in Srinagar and Poonch and active in protecting the Pathan Court area there are achievements in adventure too its personnel have scaled a number of peaks including Mount Everest and made a mark in the fields of judo shooting archery rock climbing mountaineering skiing rafting mountain biking and paragliding all of us are aware of india's scientific expeditions to antarctica well the itbp has been associated with it since 1981 providing training to indian team members at its mountaineering and skiing institute at auli uttarakhand itbp personnel are also a part of the indian antarctica expedition team The institute at Oli imparts training in snowcraft, icecraft, trekking, mountaineering, rock climbing, winter survival, first aid and hygiene. You will now hear the talk one more time. As you listen, answer questions 1 to 5 by ticking the correct options. The ITBP is a premier paramilitary organization raised to secure the Indo-Tibetan border that stretches across 2115 kilometers. As it began to get more responsibilities, it underwent changes that began in 1978. In 1992, Parliament enacted the Indo-Tibetan Border Police Force Act 1992, which came into effect in 1994. 
with its battalions present from the Karakoram Pass in Ladakh to Jechup La in Arunachal Pradesh, it watches over 3,488 kilometers of the India-China border. This it does from outposts at altitudes ranging from 9,000 feet to 18,600 feet across the extreme and difficult mountain terrain in the western, middle and eastern sectors. Getting to its men by road is difficult, so supply and replenishment is done by airdropping and helicopter sorties. Military experts consider the ITBP to be one of the best mountain forces in the world. Its personnel have to be familiar with winter survival techniques and working in adverse, freezing and unpredictable high-altitude weather. Its officers and men, professionally trained mountaineers and skiers, are able to face high-velocity storms, blizzards, avalanches and landslides. Some of its other activities include preventing transborder crime, smuggling and other illegal activities. It is also the nodal agency for disaster management in the Himalayas. And there is more. The ITBP's National Center for UN Civpol Training or the International Civilian Police imparts training to personnel from all police organizations for UN peacekeeping missions. ITBP officers have represented India in strife-torn countries like Angola, Bosnia, Cambodia, Congo, Haiti, Herzegovina, Kosovo, Mozambique, Sierra Leone, Sudan and Western Sahara. It continues to be a part of the UN peacekeeping mission in Congo. Its current mission is in ensuring the security of Indian missions in different parts of Afghanistan. If you go on the Kailash Mansarovar Yatra, you will find the ITBP is there as a guardian, a role it has donned since 1981. ITBP personnel are fondly known as Himvirs or protectors of the mountains and friends of the people. The ITBP has played an important role in fighting infiltration. It has seen deployment in parts of Jammu and Kashmir. In 1965, for example, the force saw action against Pakistani intruders. In the 1971 war, it was on special duty in Srinagar and Poonch and active in protecting the Pathan court area. There are achievements in adventure too. Its personnel have scaled a number of peaks, including Mount Everest, and made a mark in the fields of judo, shooting, archery, rock climbing, mountaineering, skiing, rafting, mountain biking and paragliding. All of us are aware of India's scientific expeditions to Antarctica. Well, the ITBP has been associated with it since 1981 providing training to Indian team members at its Mountaineering and Skiing Institute at Auli, Uttarakhand. ITBP personnel are also a part of the Indian Antarctica Expedition Team. The institute at Auli imparts training in snowcraft, icecraft, trekking, mountaineering, rock climbing, winter survival, first aid and hygiene. That is the end of the listening task.